Hi guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Siddharth and I'm going to give you 5 easy steps so that you can play your kazoo like a saxophone. Now before giving you the 5 steps, let's talk about humming because that's the pillar to play kazoo. Whenever someone gets a new kazoo, they hear that they need to hum on it and they actually hum on it. And it sounds something like this. When you actually play that on kazoo, it sounds something like this. Yes, it is humming. But there's another way and that's the first point of this tutorial. It's called to do 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 method. Now what is to do 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 method? It sounds stupid, I know that, but trust me, it works. Take a metronome of 1, 2, 3, for example. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. On every ones, you make a T, two sound, two. And on every two, three, four, you make a do 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 sound. So it goes to do do do, to do do do. I know it sounds stupid. Do the same thing on kazoo, but with a note. Do, 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 do. And let's try that on kazoo. There's a big enough difference from to There's already a lot of difference over there. Once you start with this and follow this method and stick to this, you'll be able to do different different variations. Something like but that's another video on its own. Number two, curvy notes. So what is curvy notes? Instead of reaching one note to the other directly, we'll curve the note and then reach the note. For example, this is direct note. Da. This is curvy note. Da. Make a curve on each and every note for the practice purpose. You're not directly hitting the note, but you're making a curve and then hitting the notes. Obviously, you don't have to hit the note all the time when you're actually playing the song, but this is just for the practice purpose. Number three, vibration. Now vibration is an effect or a style you want to add it on your kazoo playing so that you can play it like a saxophone. It sounds something like this. Uh, so for example, if I'm doing uh, It should be at the end of your note. It's like it's not even there, but it's definitely there. You will find the difference because of that little bit of effect of vibration. Number four, volume modulation. Volume modulation is very important. For example, when you're stretching a note or going really high, you need to lower down a little volume and then release it at the end of the note. So it goes something like this. Let's play that on kazoo to have better understanding. Now volume modulation is something which comes natural on its own. Well, when you keep playing one song after the other, one tune after the other, you will have better understanding about when and how to modulate the volume. Number five jaw movement jaw movement may not be very obvious but it definitely plays an important role by supporting the fourth point of this tutorial which is volume modulation not only it helps you with the volume modulation but it also gives you the saxophone flavor think of it as eating a note now when you sing on a note you should imagine as if you are eating that note something like da 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 close your jaw at each note da 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 Let's try it out on kazoo. I hope this video has helped you in one way or the other. If you have tried these points and you're not able to do it, don't worry. It comes with practice. You practice it over and over again and I'm sure you'll be able to play kazoo like a saxophone.
Now, if you have any questions, please post it in the comments. I'll definitely include it in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, then like the video. If you're new to this channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon. Comment for suggestions. Bye bye.